right guys, welcome back for another video. As you can see, a little bit different location, but I have access to a very beautiful new location, which uh, I have 180 uh, meters to my disposal with a clear backstop, no problems, super private, super safe range right here. So very good for the future videos that are about to come. Now today I wanted to do an accuracy video, but the wind is picking up seriously. I think we have about four to five uh, before all the time. So for accuracy, that's not really uh, a good thing for video. But a question I get from a lot of you is, since I made the Behemoth moderator video, how much benefit can you get from the Behemoth over the original stock moderator on your Edgun Leshy 2? So I have my Edgun Leshy 2 here in 30 caliber. Um, the regulator is set to 157 bar and it shoots 44 grain pellets right at about 830 feet per second. So this you know. Now let me quickly set up all my um, uh, uh, sound metering devices, put everything to record and let's start off with the original moderator to see what kind of baseline sound level we get. I'll be right back. Right, so everything is recording. I have the sound meter on. I hope the wind is not going to affect it too much. I see now already it's reading about 55 decibel. So let's see uh, how far we get with the Leshy 2 with the stock moderator. And so as you can see, about 66 decibels, which is okay, but let's see how much the behemoth moderator can uh, quiet it down. So Behemoth is installed, as you could see, takes only a few minutes. If you want to have more details on how the Behemoth looks and how it's uh, set up uh, or installed onto your Leshy 2, head over to my channel because I have a video specially separate on that as well. Now, I see the wind already messed with my uh, sound meter. So let me quickly reset it and then uh, we can go ahead, I hope. Now in the meanwhile, while I wait for the wind to quiet down just a little bit, we can refill the Leshy because the magazine is almost empty. Now I have this speed loader from uh, Edgun. You can also find a video separate on this on my channel and it's the most easy thing to refill your magazine in the field. Just put it on top, take that metal cover off, put your magazine into the bottom just like this, open the lever, quick shake, all your pedals are in, put that cover back on and you're ready to go. That speed loader really saves a lot of time in the field, especially when you're sitting here like me on a bipod. You don't have to fiddle with your tin on your leg or something. You just have the speed loader, very easy to fill your magazine right, right back up. Still some wind. Let's see. Um, I can also recharge the air and I also have something special for that. So, of course, when you're out and about, you can easily fill it by bringing your scuba tank and uh, plugging it in, filling it up. No problem at all. But some of you are hunters, some of you are out in the field and they uh, carry around the backpack maybe and don't have really the place to put a big huge uh, scuba tank to fill up your gun. So Edgun came out with this and that's the tank trigger, the PZ it calls. Very easy, it has compact, this is a 300 bar, uh, 580 cc carbon fiber bottle with that PZ trigger on top of it with that safety and it's just very simple. Open it up, put it in. Fill it up, release. And that's how easy it is to recharge your Lassie with that PZ uh, tank trigger. Put it back in your backpack and I think you can get about two uh, fills, one to 280 and probably one to 250. And then you can go straight out and hunt again. Certainly enough air when you're hunting and each shot counts. If you can bag a rabbit or a squirrel for each shot that this bottle can give you extra, you have a very good day of hunting. So let's see what the wind is doing and if we can continue with this video. So 
So we have a small break in the wind. Let's quickly see what we can do. We start off at 50. So as you can see, we had just a little quick break in the wind before we started off at 66 with the original one and now we are at 56. Um, so uh, what else can we do? The behemoth, as you see it right here, is a three, three stack moderator. That's how it comes to you because it's a sectional moderator. If you go back to the video of the behemoth itself, you can see how it works. The standard, how it comes to you, is with three sections, but let's see what it can do when we add two more sections to it and see if it quiets it even more down. Probably it will be a little bit tricky with the wind because if it quiets it more down, it probably will come more to ambient noise level and uh, especially backyard friendly for that. So let me quickly add those two stacks, reset everything and let's see how much quieter it makes with those two extra stacks. I think this is the break I'm looking for. Fifty four point six. Um, let's try that again, maybe. Well, guys, I've tried several different things. Adding the two stacks doesn't seem to be uh, quieting it so much more down, especially not in these conditions, as the ambient noise around me is already probably 50 or 55 decibels itself. But still, very good result from the original one to the behemoth. We got from 66 to about six uh, to about 55 decibels, which is 10 decibels, and the lower you can go. Uh, the lower you go in decibels, the higher the curve goes. It's like a parabolic curve, or how do they call it? So every little uh, step down you go makes a big difference in sound. Something I also really realized is that the pitch in sound completely changed from a more sharper noise with the original one to a more softer one with the Behemoth moderator. I think I will be going back to the three stack moderator, not the five stack, as I think the three stack also little, looks a little bit more beautiful on this setup. And as you can see, accuracy wise, or maybe you didn't see because they didn't have my scope cam on it, but I'm consistently hitting uh, a one inch uh, spinner at 50 meters, even with this wind and these pallets. So perfect there. I hope this video was a little bit interesting for some of you who were wondering if the behemoth is even better than the original sound moderation. I thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out all the other videos on my channel. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, and I hope to see you back in the next one. Bye.